Super Dave here with episode 24 of figures, play sets, and accessories that work well with Motu Classics and Masterverse figures. And today I've got a special treat because I have been wanting, being I'm a Superman fan, I have been since a kid, as well as a He-Man fan. I mean, Superman's my favorite individual character and the Masters of the Universe is my favorite line, I guess, you know, dynasty or whatever. But anyway, this character is Superman, but I think it's finally one that I can legitimately fit in with the Masterverse world or the Motu world that looks the part and could actually, you know, feasibly, using your imagination, land on Eternia and do some business with He-Man and She-Ra and the gang. <laughs> and that's right, that... DC Future State version of Superman that's just been dropped by McFarlane Toys by the Multiverse. And this guy looks the part. I mean, he's got chains. I mean, just take a look at this. He's got chains. He's got an axe. He's got a shield. He's got just, you know, the garb that kind of looks like the time period or the, you know, fantasy mythos of Motu. Bang! I mean, to me, this guy is going to fit in with the Motu universe, especially Masterverse stuff because of his seven inch, you know, height and stuff. But we're going to take a look at him over here. Yes, that's right. In Eternity, along with some other figures and some accessories even that I feel like work well with Motu. Let's go check it out. And here we are in new Eternia, getting ready to take a look at this future state Superman and man is he awesome this is a killer figure and he is so neat and I think he's gonna work perfect if you want a Superman action figure to blend in with your Motu stuff your Masterverse or even your classics this is so awesome 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 I'm loving it already just take a look at him there is his card that he comes with of course he comes with a DC stand. He comes with this awesome shield. He comes with this cool looking axe that he can hold that, I mean, I think fits right in with the uh, Masterverse motif. Kind of a wooden looking rugged blade. I mean, that is just cool. And then he's got these chains and then that neat looking S symbol or you know Krypton Hope symbol not only on his rugged looking shield but also on his chest held on by chains and his cape is all tattered there I mean that is just so cool let's see if I can rotate it without the others falling might be able to do it I'm not sure <laughs> but you can see wow oh there he went We're determined to fall so we'll try this again let's go ahead and look give him a spin and look at this tattered cape there from the back just look at there that cape has all those tattered spots down at the bottom and this is a kind of a gummy you know rubbery cape that he has just like we're used to with McFarlane but uh, check out that head sculpt as it comes around here I mean that is awesome that is killer looking I mean that is just so neat he's got that those eyes are kind of piercing toward his left our right looking at us there chain around his neck there. I mean, I know it's kind of weird for that chain. And then look, the chain actually kind of covers up the break there and the torso. That is so cool. And the belt, see the belt there with the S symbol, veins and muscularity is pretty on point. I mean, he could be a little bigger, but uh, man, this guy is looking cool. So neat. Let's take a closer look at these accessories, just a closer look at this shield and you see all the scars and the battle-worn scratches on there and almost looks like a, almost a platinum or gunmetal, more or less a gunmetal type, you know, S shield that's attached to that shield and that's just really cool. And then look at the back. I mean, it's really big and open so that he can get that balled up fist and that chain that's around his wrist through there. But look at the texturing there. Isn't that cool? That is neat. There's even a small Superman shield right there. That is just so cool. It's like wraps. I mean, look at the detail. And it's wooden. Look at the wood grain. It's like it's got a wooden background. 
that is just so neat. I love the attention to detail, little rivets around the edge. And it's real durable and thick plastic, really nice, almost like a 3D printed, but uh, even more with the detail in here as far as the thickness of this plastic. It's pretty cool. Not as brittle though, but it's nice. Really cool. And let's take a look at this, this, um, this axe very quickly here. And that's very interesting. See the red kind of twine or bands that are wrapped around it here on the wooden handle. Design work here comes to almost a diamond shape at the top. Got these little edges here on the left blade or my left here at this moment. And then more of a rocky, rugged edge on this right blade. Really cool. Very archaic, very medieval, you know, <laughs> I don't know, just mythos looking axe unlike anything we've ever seen before uh, to my knowledge especially in this you know M McFarlane line and especially with a <laughs> with a Superman I mean it's crazy and, and they just fit great together here I mean tell me that does it look like something you could find with Motu right awesome well we've pretty much taken care of accessories now let's take a look at this future state Superman's Articulation. Just a look at our Superman. We can definitely see that that face sculpt, man, it's just like really realistic looking. That, um, you know, 3D tech printing, I guess, as they call it. Even the ears, a little bit of gray in the side of his hair. Just a little tint of gray, not much, but just a tint. Like it's blended in. Isn't that something where it's darker on top? even maybe a little bit of gray even sprinkled into the weaves of his hair or the strains strands of his hair rather this uh to my knowledge as of right now this this is not really movable as far as it being a floating piece it's pretty much uh anchored or glued down the this collar thing around him but i like it i mean i don't think i'd want to take that off i don't know you know it's just part of his outfit these chains like i said are are flexible and move so you can kind of cover up those edges this is kind of yeah this is flexible the S shield is definitely glued in there or molded in I think it's glued in it may be a mold into the chest but I think it's just a real tight glue there the veins and the arms like we said I mean he could definitely be a little bulkier for a Superman but you know Superman's always been pretty ripped not a, not a lot of thickness in some senses. But his legs are a little scrawny, like he missed leg day, as people say. <laughs> his diaper crotch area don't look too bad. They've done a worse job. His, even his belly button looks good, like his you know, abs are kind of folded in properly. They just look nice, I think. Looks cool. Let's lift up this cape, see that the chain go, goes all the way around. I like kind of the way they did this, this band around his waist. That looks kind of almost metal really cool looking and those boots again you have that like you broke out of some chains going on around those ankles but you can still see the articulation hinges there so just overall very cool and so he's able to look up about that much stand still the curse of the can't look up Superman I mean <laughs> he can't look up as much as he should be able to He's able to look down pretty much all the way. That looks really good. I like that. I mean, that head sculpt just looks fabulous. Just very interesting the way this head sculpt looks, in my opinion. His arms will do 360. He has a little bit of a butterfly joint up in there. Not anything crazy range, but it's there. You have a bicep swivel. Look at the veins, how they connect from the shoulders into the bicep and down into the arms. That's just really cool. Double jointed elbows that get, man, excellent, excellent range there. That is just awesome. And so we'll cross over pretty well there. And again, being able to hold that shield, that was very well designed, I think. He has, of course, that 
ball hinge kind of wrist motion so you're going to be able to get in any direction you want to and he comes with a fist on his left arm and then a weapon holding on his right arm there take a look at that symbol again on his belt like a metal belt that goes all the way around I'm just impressed with this figure I think he is awesome for 20 bucks I mean yes He's got that ball joint in the waist, which that's going to be able to swivel. And then in the diaphragm, he's going to be able to crunch forward about that much. He's going to be able to bend backwards a little better. There's still pretty good detail up in here as well, even when he bends back to the, to the max there. So he will swivel and get side to side motion. Just like that. All right. Be able to strike T's very easily there. Look at that, like he could, you could chain him up, have him break loose. All right, moving on the legs, he'll get total splits there. He also has a little bit of thigh rotation, about normal for McFarland. He's gonna be able to kick up about that high. Not a crazy range, but my leg, like a lot of McFarland stuff, comes came in a little bent in here at the shin below the knee, it's a little bent looking. But he does have double jointed knees, which look really good. I mean, they're gonna go way back. And then he has no boot cut, but you will be able to swivel at the foot here. He's not gonna be able to go tiptoes because it hits the back of that chain attachment there. Not going to be able to go up too much either, but he does have good rockers, which I've already been utilizing, especially being that his legs were kind of warped. Had to use that, that rocker already to kind of get him in a pose. And then he has toe hinge as well, toe articulation. And as I said, he comes with a peg stand, so he does have the peg hole in the bottom. So that helps because, hey, these McFarlane action figures are hard to stand up and so it helps to have that extra help for sure all right really awesome looking superman and we've already got some back here but let's go ahead and do some comparisons even zodak the cosmic enforcer has flown in to take a look at this future state superman beside these two combatants even one of the Witcher characters here by McFarlane there. But these combatants by Excess Ray, Excess Ray Toys. And they just look awesome. And they fit in with this Superman, Future State Superman, powerfully good. I mean, just awesome. And I've already reviewed these guys in one of the episodes. This is episode 24 of figures, playsets, and accessories that work well with Motu Classics. But or Masterverse, but these guys, they were in one of the episodes because they certainly fit in good, but I want to take a look at them first because they just look so good with him. Awesome. And here is our Superman beside none other than Masterverse New Attorney of He-Man. And man, they look good together. I'm going to be doing some painting on this Masterverse New Attorney of He-Man on those shoulder pad armor things as well as that belt to give it a little bit more of a gold touch maybe a little wash to it as well but um, to give him a little bit more of a realism uh, compared to this Superman he does have a little bit of a toyish look next to him but I still think they fit in good together they certainly measure up well in size together so yes Superman and He-Man meet and instead of it looking like, you know, he's in these bright blue and red colors or even the dull dark blue and burgundy, you know, odd, kind of odd when you put it next to a He-Man, especially with this kind of armor. But this actually works. They look great. Looking good together. Awesome. Check it out. If you're wondering, I just took an extra helmeted head there that came with my new Eternia he-Man and I heated it up really hot with a hair dryer and just literally peeled that head out of there and it came right out that little hair in the back and all so that worked great matter of fact I can show it to you here it is you can do the same thing all you have to do is just peel it off you can see 
how it was glued in, the little hair piece at the bottom and everything. So cool. And then you'll be able to have you a, a helmet without a head in it. <laughs> All right, but these guys look fabulous together, in my opinion, awesome. And here is our Superman next to a classics He-Man with vintage head. And even though you could make this work, the realism of this Superman and the height of this Superman, I don't know. Just don't think this is the best route. I believe the, uh, yeah, I believe that the Masterverse one actually works a little better. Uh, pardon me, man. Pardon me. There's Arnold. And there's how he looks with him. Super 7 Arnold Conan and uh, yeah again a little bit of a shine a little bit awkward next to him not as convincing I don't think as the combatants for sure that we saw first or even the Masterverse He-Man here is next to Marvel Legends Hercules kind of a comic book Hercules but you know what I still say these guys match up pretty decent together um, I've noticed that most of the heads are bigger than the McFarlane heads, for especially this Superman head here. But overall, I think you can make this work also. Cool. And here's our Superman next to our Tyrus Flair from the Golden Axe series. And she is looking awesome in scale next to the Superman here. I've actually got the cloak and the loincloth on Tyrus Flair that came with the Mezco Conan here and uh, so I borrowed his loincloth because he came with two and I like the chain mail one on him real chain there uh, by one twelfth toys and so he's definitely short next to Superman I mean he's very short from foot to head I mean he's tiny next to this seven inch character, but Tyrus Flair works. And I really like, and this is just an idea. I mean, this, these, you know, all of these are accessories that work well with Motu Classics or Masterverse. And in this sense, I've made a video with Tyrus Flair working with the Motu, you know, Masterverse line. So if you want to give her some clothes to give her more of that warrior vibe, that cloak and that loincloth from that Mezco Conan really works good, I think, on her. You can place it a little better but still shows off you know what you want it to and it's really cool and uh they look great together i think cool and here's our superman next to the axe battler again a golden axe figure and he's definitely bigger than all of them but i still say he fits in well with the motu i've got a video up on him as well he works well with the motu masterverse stuff and of course, there is Mirror Lion O, which I love this character. He is just so cool. You see how he fits in next to this Superman. And I think, you know, you could make all these fit, especially if you were, you know, mashing up some of them with He Man, the Masterverse He Man, New Eternity He Man, and uh, along with this Lion O and, and Tyrus Flair and the Witcher Girl, and then those combatants back there. And by the way, that's one of the combatants little capes that I've used to kind of skirt around that uh, axe battler and then a mythic legion shield that I painted over for him to hold and there's Conan uh, Arnold Conan's necklace I put around his neck I liked it better than that silver one he came with but anyway that's what I've decked these out with so you see what I've done and uh, I just think this is a lot of fun I like it this he this uh, Superman is really working good then finally, in way of comparisons, here is our King Grayskull, Masterverse King Grayskull. And again, the shine may take away from it a little bit, but, and, you know, the real realism of this Superman is what hits him the most as far as mashing up really well. But I think you can make this work, the way you photo it and the scenes that you put him in. I'm still excited about making this Superman part of my Motu. All right, there he is with King Grayskull himself. And as promised, we have one more accessory, or I guess you could call it a figure, to go along with our Masterverse and even our new Eternia Skeletor. That's right, Fiona, 
the classified series from G.I. Joe Croc Master and Fiona. There's Fiona on a chain being carried there or led by, or maybe he's leading him, our new Eternia Skeletor. And that is so awesome. I mean, if Skeletor can carry something like this, like Dragon Blast Skeletor or whatever, I think New Eternia Skeletor can have a pet crocodile. Awesome. So neat. So cool. There'll be a video up on Fiona, her, of course, articulation and everything with Croc Master. You can check out that video when it is up. But there is our New Eternia Skeletor. And you see how that looks. That is so cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, you know, when Panthor is kind of on a break, you know, he can go wandering through New Eternia with Fiona. Or whatever he, he'll call, end up calling his pet crocodile. <laughs> so neat. Fiona says, do some head swapping, man. And that's exactly what we're going to do. There's that rugged beard looking from the black suit Superman on this body. And I have to say, that looks really good. So if you want him to have kind of a more stoic face or a smiley, almost smile, not quite a smile, but just a plain face and a beard, there you can have Superman steel with that awesome body with that particular head sculpt. Now, some of the other... Uh, head sculpts, they just don't fit the color scheme of the skin tone, but this one really does. I mean, it's a little bit lighter of a tan, but still has that color tone, and that really looks good. I like that. I really love the head that he comes with, but I think this head almost, in my opinion, matches the Masterverse stuff a little better. Yeah. You know, that, that He-Man head and the new Eternia He-Man head here, it really has a realism to it. And uh, just like the McFarlane stuff here. And this one has a realism, but maybe not quite as much as this one. I mean, this one just has such a realism to it. Five o'clock shadow. I mean, just a very realistic look. Look at the eyes. I mean, they did an excellent job on this head sculpt. Almost too good. When you compare it to this He-Man, I mean, this I think this is a fairly realistic He-Man head, too. But compared to this, man, you know. Yeah, I think this one fits in good. Excellent. That's really all the head swapping I'm going to do. It works, man. I mean, this <laughs> is excellent. I mean, I like it. I think it's awesome. Really, really do like this. I have now a Superman that works and actually fits in with the clothing and the look of the Masterverse Motu stuff. I'm tickled. I'm excited. I'm thankful. And hopefully you get some ideas from this video. And if nothing else, you've seen me have some fun with it on this Super Day Fun Review Episode 24 of Figures, Playsets, and Accessories that work with Motu Classics. Come back or Masterverse. Come back and see us. Like, subscribe if you haven't, comment if you have something to say or share, and we will talk with you next time. Looking forward to doing another Cobra, G.I. Joe Classified, but this time a Cobra Play Day with some bats. And of course, Fiona is going to make an appearance too. All right, see you next time. Be blessed. Enjoy these photos.